exceptional strike rate. Short from Jordan, and that has been uh, banged into the gap in the wide open spaces between mid-on and mid-wicket, and that will be the first boundary for South Africa since the power play. Yeah, this is nicely played. Probably a little bit more pace on it than what we saw from Curran. He's absolutely middled that, and they're also starting to get the understanding for the tactics that are being used and what needs to be done. You can see how he, even though it's a short pitch delivery, he gets his weight. Swept hard and square, that's a magnificent stroke. Aidan Markram starting to motor. Yeah, and this is hit with immense power, just the one bounce. And this is what he, he learned a lot and was able to do at the RPL. That's hit with real power, right off the middle. Placement, he knew exactly where. Oh, cute, beautiful, really good from Markram. High quality this from Aidan Markram. Skill level. Oh. Joel Root scoop. Can't do much as a bowler. Uh, and whips it behind square. This is very inventive batting from Aidan Markram. That reverse scoop followed by a whip. Behind square, England under pressure. Innovation of the highest quality from Markram again. Seeing square leg up in the ring, 45 up in the ring. Lovely follow through, just has to beat David Milan there. It's, it's not as though we're playing on a postage stamp though. Smeared away by Markram and he'll get four so certainly no loss for South Africa having Markram on strike big swing from Aiden Markram a little bit of lucky with a thick edge Firmly down the ground by Markram, should come back for a couple. And that brings up his half century. Strike rate of around about 140, which is very standard for him in T20 cricket. 51, we've got one over left, 181 for three.